the next book in our hippie storybook series is also by Claire Blatchford and also illustrated by Mike Eagle. It's called Down the Path. And when you see one of these hippie symbols up here, this means this story was written by hippie. You can't find it anywhere else but in the hippie program. On the back cover, it says a hippie storybook. And it has a picture of Rita and Sarah from our story, Down the Path. This is the title page. It says the title again, Down the Path, by Claire Blatchford, illustrated by Mike Eagle. Mommy was fixing our picnic. Daddy was lighting the grill. Sam, my big brother, was listening to tapes. Everybody was busy but me. Who would play with me? I walked around the picnic table, all the way around. I almost walked right by the path. The path was warm. The path was smooth. It went wiggling off slow and easy through the grass. Where did it go? I stood on tiptoes, but I couldn't see where it went. The grass was too high. Then I heard it whisper. Come, whispered the path. Come, I have some friends for you. I'm going down the path, I told Mommy and Daddy. Daddy looked up from the grill. Okay, he said, but don't go past the swings. I jumped up and down. I love to swing. Come back soon, said Mommy. Sam waved at me. I waved back. And I went down the path, down the path to see who would play with me. Sometimes the path went straight. Sometimes the path curved. Sometimes the grass bent right over it. I kicked a pebble on ahead. I picked a white flower. I came to a big, tall tree. Hi, said the tree. Where are you going? I'm going down the path, tree. Won't you hum a song with me, asked the tree. So we hummed high, and we hummed low. We hummed of sun and rain and snow. We hummed like the wind when it blows and blows. Can you make that sound? Then I remembered the swings. So I said goodbye to tree. And I went down the path, down the path to see who would play with me. Sometimes the path went up. Sometimes the path went down. Sometimes I forgot to look where I was going. Stop, cried a voice all of a sudden. I stopped. I'd almost stepped right in the middle of a puddle. I don't want your feet in my face, said Puddle. I don't want to put them there, I said. Play a while with me, said Puddle. I dropped the white flower. It went spinning down. Puddle had a star on its face now. I pushed the star with my finger. I sailed it here and there. I blew at it and watched the water ripple. That was fun, said Puddle. I'm going to the swings, Puddle. I said goodbye. And I went down the path, down the path to see who would play with me. Sometimes the path was narrow, sometimes the path was wide. Now I felt something right behind me, something gray, something following me. I turned around fast. I wonder what it is. There was a big fluffy feathery tail. There were two little pointed ears. There were two black eyes, a tiny nose, and two white paws. What do you think you're doing, squirrel? I asked. Squirrel's tail twitched in the air. Got anything to eat? he asked. It's not lunchtime, I said. Squirrel's tail twitched again. Don't you have anything in your pocket? I put a hand in my pocket. What a surprise. There was half a pretzel Sam had given me. Squirrel sat up. I knew you had something. It's not yours yet, squirrel. Please? I shook my head. Cover your eyes, squirrel. I'm going to hide. If you find me, I'll give it to you. Squirrel covered his eyes with his tail. I stepped off the path. I ran through the grass. I climbed over a rock and hid behind it. I held my breath and I held my breath and I didn't move at all. Then the gray feather tail came dancing along the top of the rock. Squirrel had found me. I gave the pretzel to Squirrel. He sure was hungry. 
He didn't even say thank you. And I went down the path, down the path to see who would play with me. The path got wider. The path got bigger. The path got so wide and big and fat it turned into a sandy circle. And there in the circle were the swings, lots of swings. But nobody was swinging, nobody at all. No kids, no squirrel, no puddle, no tree, just me. I sat on a swing. I made circles in the sand with my sneakers. I leaned back till my hair touched the ground. I turned the swing round and round with my feet. The ropes twisted up. I shut my eyes tight. Then I pulled my feet up. The swing spun fast. The swing spun slow. The swing stopped. I opened my eyes and there was a girl. A girl standing in front of me. A girl who wanted to play just like me. She smiled and I smiled back. Hi, I said. Hi, she said. Where'd you come from? She pointed at the path. That's where I came from. What's your name? I asked. Sarah. I'm Rita. Will you play with me? Sarah nodded. I pushed her swing. Sarah pushed my swing. I kicked a pebble to her. Sarah kicked the pebble back to me. I picked a flower for her. Sarah picked one for me. Then we held hands and we skipped. Over the path we skipped. Up and down we skipped. Past squirrel waving his tail. A round puddle and the white flower. Under the tree humming. We skipped all the way back to the picnic tables. Sarah's mommy and daddy waved from their table. My mommy and daddy and Sam waved from our table. Sarah and I laughed. Now we had two tables to go to. And I went down the path, down the path to see, and I found a friend who would play with me.